Hey guys, it's Scotty with Trek Pro City in Victoria. Today we've kind of set up all of our toys for indoor training. This is what I would call kind of the ultimate indoor cycling cave. We've got the Ceres MP1 platform. This thing is cool. It goes all forward and back, up and down. Um, yeah, that's ultimate. We've got the Ceres H3 Smart Trainer. Probably my favorite trainer on the planet. We've got our cool road bike, in this case, a Trek you can Monda lean like is you set up on here. Out on the road, um, which is really cool. We have a trainer mat underneath our platform. This is gonna help dampen the vibration. Gosh, nice to have the bike quieter. moving. Spent uh, many years on stationary trainers like and your bike doesn't move. What else this do we is have pretty here? Sweet. On our bike, we've got a bottle cage. We're gonna be sweating a lot Save your pennies. Need water. We're gonna have it's a water cheap, bottle later. Um, we've got it's awesome. the Serif sweat net. Uh, so this is gonna collect a lot of the sweat that drops into our headset and stuff. Sweat is very corrosive, it is bad for your bike. I've also got another towel, because I like to dry myself off before I sweat all over the place. Um, this Serif sweat net has a place for a cell phone, so it can slip into this pocket and keep it dry. I actually personally like the, the Raptor phone case that we sell at the shop here. These things are inexpensive, they hold your phone. So I'll have my companion app on my phone here when I'm training, All right. and then I'll have my easy, laptop easy. with my Zwift running uh, wherever I am. Uh, kit, it's really uncomfortable riding a spin bike for long periods of time. Make sure you get yourself some good shorts. My favorite is ASOS. They're expensive, but you won't regret it. Um, and of course, you got to get yourself a Pro City Racing jersey because they're the coolest jerseys out there. Um, what else do we have here? We've got a fan. You need a fan. I can't ride for about more than 20 minutes on these things without a fan. This is just a basic fan that you get at a department store. Um, there are fancy fans out there. Wahoo makes a cool fan that is Bluetooth and it's controlled by your heart rate. So the higher your heart gets, the, the harder the fan gets. Those are pretty sweet. If you I guess if this was the ultimate man cave, we would need one of those. Unfortunately, we don't have any in stock right now. We're sold out. Um, we've got the Ceres TD1 desk. So this is a sweet trainer desk that is set up so that you can keep all your gadgets and stuff right in front of you, accessible. The thing I really like about it is you can plug everything in so you don't need a separate power bar somewhere else. So you just plug this into the wall and you can plug in your laptop. It's got USB ports for your phone. Uh, your speaker. Uh, we've got a music system in the loft here, so in this case, I don't have a separate speaker, but a speaker is a good idea to get the tunes bumping while we're riding. Um, I mean, another thing with a bike is clipping in. This is obviously like a really advanced setup, so maybe most of you already have pedals and shoes and know the details on this, but you know, I mean, it's almost mandatory that you're clipping in when you're on a spin bike. In this case, I've got the Giro Empires with a Shimano road system, so the three bolt system. Um, but for a more basic setup, you could put a set of SPDs on there and a walkable shoe like this Bontrager Solstice. Um, you know, those are kind of nice because you can get off the bike and walk around a little bit. But yeah, this is the, in my opinion, one of the ultimate setups. Of course, you also need the autographed uh, Ryder Hestadol uh, Giro d'Italia winning jersey in the background and maybe some other paraphernalia to uh, remind yourself why you're suffering in inside instead of outside. Uh, for a demo, check out another one of our videos up here. Thanks for watching.